Well, as we were pulling away up to this the dump station, the dump, we get out, and what's happening? Water, water everywhere, not a good sign. The water's leaking from the underbelly, and it doesn't seem like sewage water. It seems like fresh water or gray water. It doesn't smell, so it might just be fresh water. Not good, I have to figure that out. So I'm calling around to RV repair places and apparently the very beginning of spring is not the time to need repairs on your travel trailer or RV. It's very, very busy, booked out weeks and weeks everywhere that I can call. I'm gonna keep trying. Wave to her, Samantha. <laughs> I call around to a bunch more places and still no one can get us early, any earlier than the end of next week. We have family nearby and I'm gonna go park on their property and drop the underbelly down and see if I can figure out what the leak is. And got a tarp down, got set up. So I'm going to start taking off some of the underbelly and see if we can figure out where the water's all coming from. So you can definitely see some water on top of the uh, bottom barrier, but I can't tell where it's coming from. We pulled the underbelly down in a number of places to try and peek under, ran the water a uh, bunch, and no drips, nowhere. Don't know what to do next. So I figured out what it was. The peat trap in the shower had a, you can't really see it, but it has a big old crack on the bottom of it. And whenever we ran the shower in the tub, it leaked Pssh, a lot. Okay. Got the replacement parts and I got to stick it into this little teeny hole underneath the shower. It's very hard to get access to. You have to lay on the ground on your head and it's really, really tight. A lot of plumbing seems to be that way. I really don't like plumbing very much. All right, the new pipe is installed and in place. I had to put a little PVC glue on it and it's all in and gotta let it dry overnight before I can test it out with water to make sure it leaked. It doesn't leak. Hopefully it doesn't leak. That'd be bad. We'll try it out tomorrow. All right, we let it sit overnight and just tested it out and no leaks anywhere. So we're good to go. And I'm gonna go and put the underbelly back together real quick before it starts raining. And then we can be off. Where do you go on the first official day of your journey? Ikea, of course. And what do you do when you get to Ikea? Well, you eat, because you're hungry. Eat yummy food. <gasps> Maddie on the map, we're at Ikea. Getting the essentials. Dirty laundry bags. One laundry basket. Not enough. Not enough for six people. <laughs> oh, this one comes in gray too. See? this rain it turns out that our campsite just outside Point Reyes is flooded completely and I called them up and they said don't come there's no there's nowhere to park it's all flooded completely flooded great so we decided we're not gonna do Point Reyes and we're just gonna head down towards Joshua Tree so we're currently we are staying on the street at some friend's house and able to plug in an extension cord so we're mooch docking a little bit um, and hanging out with them, some good friends of ours. We'll, tomorrow morning, we'll set off. We'll try and do a long day's drive to get down um, close to Joshua Tree so we can get in there and enjoy that.
We are at Ignacio Valley Open Space Preserve in Marin County, California, and we're taking a hike in the rain. getting ready to go this morning. I'm unhooking my electrical. I had an extension cord run to give us a little bit of juice to charge your batteries and stuff. The extension cord got caught behind the shed and the fence. I can't get it out. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. 